Okay, if you're about to fit a new clutch and you want to stand any chance of getting the engine and the gearbox back together, well you better give some consideration to clutch alignment. So what is it that you're trying to align? Well basically, it's the clutch friction plate here and then the spigot bearing in the end of your crankshaft. Let's take a closer look. Okay, this is the input shaft of your gearbox and the splined part here, that engages with the friction plate, like so. And then this part here engages with the spigot bearing in the end of your crankshaft. No problem so far, right? No, well, the problem arises when you come to fit and tighten down your clutch pressure plate because as you do so, it's going to clamp the friction plate in position. And as it clamps with enough force to transmit over 100 brake horsepower to your rear wheels, uh, once you've clamped it in there, you ain't going to move it. So if it's not perfectly aligned with the spigot bearing, you just aren't going to get the gearbox and engine back together. So enter this simple little device. Now this is a clutch alignment tool uh, and it basically consists of a bunch of different sized dowels. So what you need to do is find a dowel that fits your friction plate and then a dowel that fits your spigot bearing. Now it does need to be a snug fit so if you haven't got the exact size uh, don't be afraid to wrap a little bit of electrical tape uh, around a smaller dowel just to bulk it out a little bit. So a quick word of warning before you fit these friction plates is that these are directional, in other words you can fit them the wrong way around. Uh, so if you look closely there should be some indication as to which way around to fit it. And right here it says flywheel side, uh, so I know that side faces the flywheel, obviously. Okay, insert the alignment tool into the spigot bearing. Now you can refit the pressure plate uh, no need to worry about aligning this because this locates on dowels in the flywheel. And then whack the bolts back in. And then nip these bolts up to the torque specified in the workshop manual. In the case of this engine, it's about 25 newton meters. And once you've talked up the pressure plate bolts, you can remove the alignment tool. And now everything's perfectly aligned for when you fit the gearbox. Awesome, that's job done. See you next time.